currently a category three and one sure sign of that strength too is that really small eye uh, but max winds of 120 miles per hour moving toward the coast uh, in a matter of hours in that 8 a.m. time frame uh, close to category four strength and then continuing across parts of the southeast so we're going to have more on a daily of course coming up in just a bit have a little bit to get through for us too. Uh, north and west uh, we have flash flood concerns flash flood watches posted for pike and sullivan counties right now until 9 a.m. as some heavy rain is approaching Otherwise, nothing else severe. We don't have any flash flood warnings associated, but you can see those shades of red and purple pushing into the Poconos right now. Otherwise, we're cloudy and muggy, 74 degrees. Be on alert for, say, the next, say, four hours or so as this line begins to move on through. I think by the city in that 8 to 9 a.m. time period with some showers and thunderstorms, brief heavy rainfall, enough to slow things down on the roadways for sure and in the air. It's out rather quickly. It'll take a little bit more time for that humidity to drop, those clouds to clear, but they will. And we are looking at mainly clear skies, temperatures dropping into the mid and upper 70s by later on this evening as we get into tomorrow morning. The humidity drops and those breezes pick up, so a much better day tomorrow. In fact, a better half of the day today. So we'll talk more on all of that coming up in just a bit. Want to get you out the door, though, and hopefully things are smoother than <laughs> yesterday. Adele, what's going on? Uh, better than yesterday, but we are definitely still dealing with the aftermath. For like 10 to maybe almost 15 feet of storm surge, that wall of water that is gets gets pushed by the storm. So it's massive. It's a category 325 mile per hour winds, maximum winds, and moving to the north northeast at 17. So in another 15 20 minutes, we'll start to watch out for that next advisory. But uh, the latest forecast indeed does have it a category four at landfall in the next few hours and continuing to be a hurricane strength as it crosses across Georgia. Of course, we'll continue to time this out, but we've got some weather to keep in mind too. flash flood watches possible for Pike and Sullivan County through 9 a.m. That's because we've got some heavy rain and a lot of lightning and thunder moving in. This is uh, nothing severe at this point. Uh, but it is enough to make things slower on the road. So as we track this off to the east the next few hours, I think by the city in that eight to uh, seven to eight a.m. time period, we'll look at a quick burst of some rainfall. And then, yes, you see this. It's the payoff. Lots of sunshine for the afternoon and clearing skies. The humidity eventually coming down we will go from highs near the low 80s back into the mid 70s later on this evening. All right, so let's see how the roadways are shaping up for everybody out there right now. Adele, leftovers from yesterday? Uh, definitely seeing some leftovers from yesterday. We're going to start thunderstorms approach. But yes, the 5 a.m. advisory is in. Maximum winds of 130 miles per hour right now. It is moving very quickly to the north northeast at 18 miles per hour. So that puts landfall in the next couple of hours. Here's another update. Looking at the forecast here, even through later on today, still forecast to be at a category two level hurricane, which is pretty amazing. Usually when it moves over land, it kind of shuts down. It's cut off from its fuel source. It's jagged land breaking it up. That's impressive. Still a tropical storm as we get into tomorrow morning off the South Carolina coast. So we'll have more on that in a minute. I want to talk about our weather that flood watch in effect that heaviest rainfall coming into Pike and Sullivan County right now. That's the line that we're going to be tracking the next few hours. I think parts of it fizzle out, including in and around the city, but that time period to keep that umbrella handy in the city will be in that 8 to 10 a.m. period. Otherwise, that goes to work and we clear out lots of sunshine. Nice afternoon. Eventually humidity drops as well. Highs today into the 80s. All right, let's get to Adele, too, because it's Wednesday. We have some leftovers from yesterday's situation, but you've got some other things you're watching. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got a mix of things going on right now. We're going to get to those.